Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for June 28th, 2021. Well, last week we had a surge that was just absolutely relentless. The bulls just pushed and pushed and pushed. So we have this interesting situation now here in the diamonds. First off, we rallied above our 50 day moving average in the chart, and that is very bullish. We pushed right up through there, as you can see, and tried to follow through, um, or maybe trying to follow through this morning. We shall see if they can continue to push that. And if we take a look here that we will now be testing this downtrend resistance in the chart, and this price resistance that we see right through this area. So kind of an interesting dynamic. Um, we rallied in the Dow more than 1,100 points in um, just five trading days. So when I say relentless, I mean relentless. And we seem to have this situation where we're either um, running for the doors, we're um, bail out, get, it, get the heck out, or we're all racing back in. And that can be kind of a dangerous market to trade because of the, the volatility of those moves. Now, one has to wonder as we kind of slide toward the end of this quarter and the coming 4th of July holiday, if we can continue this momentum, if we can continue this pace, um, I shouldn't say momentum, but, but this buying pace in the market. Um, or will we need a little rest, consolidation, or even a little bit of profit-taking pullback to kind of settle out after last week's party? Um, interesting question. Now, we see um, Asian markets were red across the board last night, but it was pretty modest trading. We see European markets this morning trading red across the board. And we are trying to show a little bit of bearishness here in the Dow while the NASDAQ and SPY continue to press for higher highs here in the market. So kind of an interesting dynamic, but I think it might be wise to just not be too complacent in thinking that we're going to continue to surge, that we could see a little bit of a resting pullback over the next few days. Let's take a look at the SPY. Now, the SPY bulls did uh, a, a tremendous job here, spiking back up, um, setting new record highs, breaking through resistance levels in the chart. So the only thing we really have to worry about here at this point with um, the SPY is whether or not if we do rest or pull back, if we will hold that level of support and see buyers stepping back in. There could be just a little bit of a confidence problem should we slip back down below here. We could see a little bit of fear maybe creep up, but we do have this next level of price support. So even if we pull back into here, I don't know that there's going to be all that um, all that rough. One thing we do have to recognize is that we, we have stretched away in just a few trading days, five days, we've stretched quite a ways away from that 50 day moving average. And we've been doing that a lot here recently. We just either, we're either, um, uh, you know, running in panic or we're running toward um, high speculation here. So watch that carefully. I think maybe just a little con um, rest or consolidation would be very healthy for um, the SPY right now. If it can just kind of calm down a little bit, would be a healthy move. And then maybe we could surge to kind of finish up the end of this quarter. We'll have to wait and see. Let's take a look at the QQQ. Now the QQQ, honestly, kind of um, puzzling to me with all of the antitrust things happening in Europe and the United States. Big Tech did the majority of this move um, to the upside um, all last week. And we are extremely stretched in this NASDAQ index. It's it. Um, in a high inflationary environment, this is kind of an odd circumstance for me. Something new, I guess, I should say. Something I've not really seen where um, we have lots of inflationary pressures, we have antitrust pressures, um, and we just surge into QQQ. Now, a rest or pullback here is definitely due. We are quite stretched out here, as you can see. Very, very strong on that bullish side. We're running up very strong and we're trying to push 
even higher here this morning. But let's kind of keep in mind that we may be running into a, a little bit of an overextended situation here and a rest or pullback may be needed. So if we were to pull back into here, that would be probably pretty painful for a lot of folks that ran into uh, tech last week, but let's watch for that possible little rest. Maybe we can just consolidate just a nice little rest up here to kind of um, um, firm up this um, big rally to the upside. We'll have to wait and see. Um, keep a close eye on that. Then let's take a look at um, our IWM. Now IWM continues to try really, really hard. We, we continue to push up here and we continue to test this resistance high. Now you can see we've done this multiple times. We haven't been able to break through just yet. And although Friday was a good attempt, didn't quite get it done. And if we were to fail up here one more time, that might be a little bit of a problem technically for the market. Um, we'll have to wait and see. Now, it all depends on how how strong those bulls can continue to, to push through. Um, will they have the energy uh, to do that as we kind of slide to the end of the quarter? And it's certainly possible we get that end of quarter uh, window dressing that, that commonly happens um, that could push us on through and we break that resistance to the upside. But it's also possible we could just rest or maybe even pull back a little bit. It wouldn't be out of the question to just see this consolidate under here or just give us a little resting pullback. We might pull back into support levels in that chart, just kind of absorbing that big rally back to the upside. And keep in mind that we could pull back quite a ways because man, oh man, did we shoot up off of that 50 day moving average. So um, just keep a close eye on those levels. I'm not exactly sure how this resolves, but I think logic would say, not that logic really applies in this market right now, but logic would say maybe a little, little calming rest. And since we don't have a whole lot on the earnings calendar and, and not much on the economic calendar until midweek to really provide much inspiration, we may just kind of wander around and chop here just a little bit. Um, calming, calming the market just a little. Let's take a look at the VIX. Now that VIX, though sliding down here, can you know, nice last week, we, we did break down, um, closing below this little price support here in the chart. So fear, there's very little fear in here, but we do have to keep an eye on this. We, we made some lows here and then reversed back up, but I don't think there's anything majorly causing us problems here. Um, uh, one thing I do worry about is that maybe we have built into built some complacency into the market with this high speculation that we're seeing here. But um, as that as this plays out, I think we still have to stay with the the bullish upside trend. We have to stay with that move until it ends, and who knows when that might be. So watch that closely. Vic still gives me a little bit of concern where well, we're going to have to stay on our toes. But um, I think um, overall, we're, we're just going to have to continue to drift up with this trend, uh, melt up um, really with this upside trend until we see uh, proof of a break. Let's take a look at our, which by the way, may never come. Um, there may not be a break. Let's take a look at our T2122. T2122, um, we on Friday during the high point point of the day, we pushed up here and we were actually up here in this bearish reversal zone. But I want you to notice as we set new record highs in the SPY and in the QQQ, our T2122 actually had a little bit of a pullback. Now what that is suggesting and what you're going to find is that the majority of stocks are not moving up. Um, we have more kind of in that sideways move here in the market. We're not getting um, an awful lot of momentum here in a lot of the stocks. It's it's very select um, pressure um, in some of the big, you know, cap weighted stocks that are moving uh, these indexes higher. So watch that closely. If that were to slip at all, we could certainly see that little rest pullback 
um, happen in the market. But I won't rule out the possibility that we could find some inspiration. Those bulls are just very strong. And um, we could certainly be right back up here really quickly. So um, we kind of have to watch for both sides here in the market. Let's take a look at our T2122. Now, um, whoops, T2101. Um, this still gives me a little bit of concern, but we did see those bulls push back in. And so we're starting to lift up here, and I think that may be a good sign um, overall. We're lifting up. We still have this long-term downtrend that's been going on on market breadth. But, um, you know, maybe momentum picked up a little bit last week as we push through to the upside. Um, whether we can get that follow through this week, that'll be the question um, with so many stocks kind of drifting sideways. So watch that closely. If we can cut, rush, um, come back up here and, and retest this level, that would be a good thing for the market if we can continue to push on through. And again, don't rule out the possibility of, of that end of quarter uh, window dressing really surging us up at the end of this month. Let's take a look at um, our economic calendar. And our economic calendar um, is really, really light for the first part of this week. Notice that we have, you know, virtually nothing except Fed speakers to potentially move us around here um, this week. So not much going on there. Tomorrow we have a Case Shiller number and consumer confidence. Consumer confidence being most likely to move the market tomorrow but again kind of a light couple of days on the calendar and then we'll slip into a focus on jobs with ADP PMI um, we're going to have jobless claims PMI manufacturing ISM construction spending so we'll want to watch that as we slide into the end of this week we'll have that employment situation report coming up here on Friday of course that um, as we start hitting all of these jobs numbers, that'll be important for the overall market um, toward the end of the week. And it might be an interesting dynamic coming into the end of the quarter at the same time. On the earnings calendar this week, we have a very light earnings calendar and it's not a surprise. We're uh, kind of winding down um, second quarter here, but we do have a, um, well, we do have a few stocks on the list, but really nothing that would be particular, particularly notable. Um, all of the stocks that are verified stocks, let's just go through those really quick. Uh, TLK, TLK um, will be reporting today. Not exactly a notable um, um, CO will be on the is a confirmed report today so um, keep an eye on that um, LIVX um, again not particularly notable and MLHR is the only one that I listed as maybe somewhat notable today um, on the earnings reports so watch that closely notice it's been in this big upside move but we're running into possibly a lower high here in that chart so keep a close eye on that so with that everyone how about we take a look at some stocks that are setting up but before we do that if you could do me a quick favor if this is the first time you've seen these videos if you could please click that subscribe button on youtube and click that bell icon when it pops up so that you'll be notified every time i post one of these videos and also Probably more importantly than anything else, if you click those thumbs up buttons, leave a comment, it's that engagement that helps the channel grow. And also, if you feel that the video is worthy, click that share button and share it out on your social media feed. It helps us contact more folks and continue to grow the channel. We just went over 21,700 this weekend. So thank you very much, everyone. You guys are awesome. Truly appreciate it. And thank you so much. Big shout out to those who have been supporting the channel through the buy me a coffee link um, you guys humble me every day thank you so much for all your kind support to this channel it does take quite a little bit of time and effort to put all this out every single day but um, seeing that appreciation uh, makes it very worthwhile in in doing it so thank you so much for everyone who supports the channel let's take a look 
to um, some stocks that might be setting up. And let's keep in mind that as we look at some of these stocks, these are not recommendations to buy or sell anything. As a matter of fact, um, you need to make sure you're doing your own due diligence in your trading, making sure that you're um, focusing on the, your risk tolerance and your rules. You never ever want to blindly follow someone else's trade. You know, last week I kept mentioning stocks like NKLA. Um, NKLA was looking pretty darn good and still hasn't quite finished this breakout up here. Take a look, we have a really nice upside trend and we may be just kind of resting over here toward this trend now. We saw a couple of days of surge, but watch that carefully as we deal with this and see if we can push on through. I think there may be an opportunity. If we can find that inspiration in the market, that bullish inspiration, this could drift over here maybe a, another day or two and then push right on through. Keep an eye on that. I think you should also be keeping an eye on NIO. And NIO um, also in a little bit of a sideways drift here. It had a big strong rally up, but let's take note that we're holding on to some price support levels here in the chart and looking pretty good overall. And as we kind of rest, little tiny trend right here, notice that we're getting very, very close to that opportunity where we might find that inspiration to push on higher. So keep a close eye on NIO, it's looking pretty good overall. I'm going to mention TAN again. Um, TAN is something that was brought to me by one of the members of um, Right Way Options. And I got to tell you, it's really great being part of a community where there's so many trained eyes looking at the market, um, bringing out these. So thank you to whoever it was that brought this up. But TAN, breaking this downtrend, beautiful, beautiful move um, as we push through. I placed an alert on this and pushed right on through to the upside. Now, a little rest or consolidation may be due here in this chart, but I think eventually we're gonna be up here at this 92 um, price resistance area. So keep a close eye on TAN. It's looking pretty good overall. You might wanna keep an eye on um, stocks like Oracle. Now, Oracle, um, I think has that potential that this could become um, a short. And let's take a look at that. I'm actually short this, so I have a bias on it at the moment. But notice that we failed here at our 50-day moving average. And we're showing just a little bit of price resistance. And notice that that 50-day moving average is starting to roll over and flatten out in their short-term averages are pushing down. Now, I gotta tell you, with all of the big big speculation in tech, it is also possible this could push right back up, stop me out on this short trade. But I like this pattern. It's one of my favorite shorting patterns when we break the 50, rally back to test this resistance. So I'll be watching in here, depending on how this speculation goes here in the market, whether this will be a working trade or not. But I'm starting to pick up a little bit of bearishness here in the market, just to balance off some of the bullishness um, that we see in charts. Now, another place that you might want to take a look is take a look at energy. Now, energy has held up really, really well. This is the XLE. Energy has done really, really well. And I suspect that with inflationary pressures, oil, gas, those kind of things are going to continue to hold up pretty well. However, I will say it might need a little bit of rest here as we test this price resistance in this chart. Don't be too surprised if we need a little rest or consolidation, maybe even a pullback in here before energies can continue to move on up. But take a look at some individual stocks like um, ConocoPhillips. ConocoPhillips, very, very bullish as you can see here in this chart. We've pushed through this resistance in the chart. We're running up here in a nice little trend. I need to adjust my line here just a little bit. Running up here in this nice little trend. And although we may be consolidating or slipping back past that trend just a little bit, there is that opportunity that that could push on through to the upside. And there's a lot of stocks um, in that energy sector that are looking relatively strong, pushing back up, showing lots of bullishness. So um, you might want to keep an eye on some of those um, holding up quite well. Now I happen to happen, uh, I happen to own ExxonMobil and I've held this for some time. And ExxonMobil is also a very bullish stock. As a matter of fact, caught some upgrades here recently, suggesting it could be substantially higher here in the future. 
Um, what an analyst said doesn't really matter much to me. Let's follow the price action of the chart. And you can see breaking through resistance, holding that area up here as support. I think that's bullish overall. And notice this big downtrend break here. So we could move up into these resistance levels um, relatively easy. Um, keep a close eye on that. Then uh, you might want to be keeping an eye on cannabis. Um, Cannabis has struggled here just just recently a bit, but notice that we're pushing back up here on Crone into some resistance in that chart. And that possibility, we, we failed this area of support. So the way I trade, once we, once we set a new support level, if we don't hold it, then we have to recover and hold and show me bullishness before I can be bullish in that trade. I don't, I don't pick bottoms um, in trades. So I think this is a chart that could be setting up that resumption of trend here eventually. Watch for little rest consolidation. As long as it holds up here, that possibility that could push on through to the upside. So keep a close eye on some of those cannabis stocks. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. I want to wish you great results in your trading. And I will see you right back here, bright and early, Tuesday morning. Have a great day, everyone.